Not his very open game. No, Wolves give him a game. They give him a game, Jeff. But Man United were back to where they were at the start of the season. Very attacking. Went for it. And they opened the game up and thought, well, you have a shot, we have a shot. We, you know, we'll beat you. And, and that's what, what they were like at the start of the season. Yeah, but Jones, I thought, was outstanding in centre midfield. I mean, he's, he's so full of energy. I, I dread to mark him in midfield. He's just running, bursting forward. Rooney looks... Look better than what he has been, you know. And Nanny, I mean, they both got two each, but Fletcher got another, another great goal, a header, and and they had chances, you know, both ends. I mean, it could have ended nine-three, I would have said. Mm. Uh, and he said they had chances, but how did how did Manchester United fare defensively without Vidic? No, not very good, Jeff. I mean, it was very open, you know. I, I don't care who's playing centre half if you're open. If you're open like that and players are running at you and getting the ball out wide, Jarvis was. I would probably say Jarvis was probably the best player on the pitch and he played for Wolves. I mean, he give, he gives Small in an absolute torrid. Defensively, not great. They wasn't great. As I said, you know, Wolves scored one and probably could have had two or three more. So, it wasn't great at the back, but they were, they were ruthless going forward. You, you wonder if there's that temptation to pull Phil Jones back there, don't you? Put him in the heart of the defence. I wouldn't now. Not watching that, Jeff. I mean, he was outstanding in midfield. He was, he was absolutely outstanding. Bursting forward, making things happen good passing. I mean, you put him back there I, and then all of a sudden you have to put Rooney in centre midfield and I, that, that just won't work for me. It does make you wonder, doesn't it, whether it was that um, international ban that was preying on Rooney's mind in midweek because ban shortened, you know, almost guaranteed that he'll go to the Euros yeah. now and then suddenly the old Wayne Rooney turns up. Yeah, I don't know, and he was, he was very, very good. I mean, he was back to himself, he was sharp. It probably was, Jeff, you know, I, I say that, it was a big game in midweek. It was a big game and you know, it just didn't happen for him. It was one of them games, you can't play well every week, but they started very well with, you know, you'd have been, Mick McCarthy would have said, right, just turn up here, keep it quiet, and the crowd will start getting on their back. But, you know, they were, for me, they were back to where they were at the start of the season. Mm. We, we talked about from a Wolves perspective that Roger Johnson was left out last week. He was back today. 4-1 um, scoreline would suggest he had a pretty torrid time, but what, what was he like? Yeah, they, they, they got run ragged, to be fair, at the back. I mean, they were getting run ragged. As a Man United probably could have had nine, but it wasn't a game where Wolves never looked like scoring. As I say, they give as good as they got. It's just they haven't got the players Man United have got. But Mick, Mick McCarthy would be saying to his players, "You play like that every week. We've got no chance of going down." Mm. Uh, Wolves have got successive home games against Stoke and Norwich. Uh, they come there, big, big games, aren't they? Oh, massive games. I mean, massive games. The thing with Wolves, I always look at Wolves and think they always do well against the good teams, Jeff, mm. and they sort of struggle against the the lesser teams like your Stokes and your, your Norwiches. So, they're two big games. If they win both of them, I think they've got a nice relaxing season, the second half of the season. If they lose both of them, they've got a long season. Yeah.